we often make impulsive decisions when we're in a negative state of mind that then hurt us. And then we, we have what you, restraint on the positive ones. And I want you to flip it. If somebody cuts you off in traffic, it's not about honking at them, putting up your middle finger, catching up, driving fast next to them just to see what they look like. You know, what kind of terrible human <laughs> would cut me off? You know, what are they? I knew it. I knew they would look like that right? You're not actually proud of yourself for doing these things, but we act on these negative impulses. You're not like getting cut off by somebody pissed off and said, I'm going to start a podcast. This is going to be amazing. I'm going <laughs> to, right? So those ones have a little restraint on, but the other ones, when you're feeling bold, inspired, powerful, this is where, when you hit a new high, like what comes to you, the ideas that come to you when you're feeling bold, especially the right ones for you. This advice came to me from uh, Gary V's life coach, Beth wanted to come on the show. And normally she does this whole questionnaire of things that she needs to know about you before she goes on and coaches anybody. And I said, yeah, just ask me that live. <laughs> I don't want to even know the questions. I don't want to fill anything out. Just ask me that live. It's like, oh, but it gets very vulnerable and personal. And like, and yeah, say, amazing. Uh, Good. I, I did therapy live on, on camera. I can, yeah, I've done therapy. <laughs> you've done EFT tapping. I've done book channeling. Like, let's do it. Just whatever questions you have, go. That was an amazing experience. But again, just saying yes to something without worrying about how it's going to work out. What I told her was, and this was like great ideas flow through me. This is such a gift and I'm, I'm work. I'm going to put this on my wall. So it's a huge deal for me. Um, we're talking about the difference between me and like a Gary. And I told her, I believe in the plan. I believe in the plan. If I keep doing videos, if I keep doing shows, if I keep writing the books, if I keep showing up, I believe in the plan. And that allows me to go. And every now and then, I don't believe in the plan anymore. Like what happens when you don't believe in the plan? Well, I create a new plan. You know, I have this little moment of self-doubt and insecurity. I did, okay, blah, 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 new plan, go. New plan, believe in the plan, back. Evan's back, let's go, we're creating. You know, I had that half hour or hour, it's not weeks of self-doubt and, and new plan and we're going. But what ends up happening when you don't believe in your plan anymore and you can't come up with a new plan? And I'm thinking and I'm struggling, like, I don't know, I, I don't have a new plan. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where it's going. I don't know if it's gonna work out. And I don't like sitting in that zone for too long. So if I'm in there for more than a couple hours, I would just tell myself, great things happen to me. Great things flow through me. No, great things happen to me. That as a coping mechanism, because I don't want to sit in the weight of the thing because I feel like it doesn't serve me. Sitting there longer when I can't come up with a new plan, I need to get out of this so that I can be creative again because the creativity doesn't come from having low self-confidence. So that would be my way out. Great things happen to me. And then I feel better. <laughs> and then I come up with a great idea. And she said, the difference between you and Gary and other like insane high achievers is you use great things happen to me as your last ditch resort coping mechanism to avoid falling into depression and anxiety and stress. They live in great things happen to me. So instead of believing in the plan, it's believing that great things happen to me at the top line. And that was the big mind explosion for me in the hour and a half or whatever we talked. And I'm still not there yet. You know, I'm still working towards that, but that's the intention. When you know the problem, you can start to work towards solving it. Um, so yeah, believing that great things happen to me is not just a thing that solves me from going into depression or anxiety, but actually is the greatest gift of all that I need to make at the, the center of who I am. If you're digging the conversation I'm having with my friend, Evan Carmichael, you have got to hear the whole talk. Click on the link right over there to hear the whole conversation.